Stand and account for yourself, Acolyte. Let's see what you're made of. I look at you, and I wonder, are you among the truly loyal, or do you hide treason in your heart? Don't be a fool. Defiance of authority is a hallmark of the immature, and the subversive. I recommend you reconsider your attitude. There is one threat our Empire must remain forever vigilant against. Those within our own ranks who undermine and weaken us. Intelligence reports indicate this valley shelters traitors. Acolytes who seek to destroy our Emperor's carefully built order and replace it with their own weak-minded heresies. They hide among the faithful and obedient. But make no mistake, they will destroy us all, given the chance. We've watched as the traitors scuttle about this valley and plot against us. We know their faces and their names. It is the Emperor's will that the sands of Korriban be slaked with the blood of these traitors. Prove your allegiance by executing them. It will be a great honor to serve you, my lord. And in serving me, you serve the Emperor. Remember that as you exterminate those vermin in the valley. I'll give you the means to identify the traitors. Eliminate enough of them to prove your loyalty. Then return to Inquisitor Arzanen. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Go now. See that the Emperor's will be done. At your service, my lord. Travel route is confirmed. I watched you deal with those traitors. Well done. That was an impressive display of loyalty. Take this reward as a token of the Emperor's favor, and wear this badge. It marks you as a defender of our Empire. Stay vigilant. Our enemies lurk where you least expect them. At your service, my lord. Travel route is confirmed. Friend, if you're headed out by the Tukata, Lord Varrison is paying actual credits for bone marrow samples. Varrison's doing some sort of experiment for Lord Renning. The less details we know, the better I'm sure. samples. Lord Renning will be pleased. You may go. Yeah. 
A fresh young acolyte come to view my experiments. Good. I trust the sight of a messy operating table doesn't disturb you? Your lab looks like the inside of a beast's belly. So quick to turn away in disgust. You're denying yourself knowledge and power. This used to be a Tukata, the hound-like creatures infesting Korriban's tombs. On the surface, nothing special. But I alone can see this creature is an expression of pure dark side energy. Aggression made manifest. You're awfully enamored of yourself. I have gazed into the depths of the abyss and found revelations there others only dream of. The Force is alive. It expresses its will in the physical world. This Tukata was one such form. Are we another of these forms? Sith are the highest manifestation of the Force's will. I've dissected hundreds of Tukata, forging a direct connection to the dark side. Each beast I examine advances me toward perfect unity. I now stand at a new frontier, but find myself thwarted. My most perfect specimen, a Tukata mutant, escaped to the tombs before I could analyze it. Your work is too important to fail, my lord. Indeed. Perhaps the Force has brought you to me for a reason. You acolytes delve those tombs on your trials. You could hunt that Tukata for me and retrieve its perfect brain. My apprentice, Malora, saw which tomb the mutant beast fled into. Find out what she knows, assist me, and you will be rewarded. Why not send your apprentice to recover this beast? She's more suited to the laboratory than the tombs. She lacks your fire, I'm afraid. Ask Melora where to seek the Tukata and return to me when you have its brain. Seeking Lord Renning's lost pet, are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time. That fool's research is pointless. Not a very loyal apprentice, are you? He's my master in title only. He has nothing to teach anyone about the dark side of the Force. Renning deludes the Dark Council into believing he's advancing Sith knowledge. The truth is, he wastes the Empire's time and resources dissecting mindless animals. But if his experiments were discredited, he would be banished, and I would be rewarded. You're just scheming to get rid of your master. I have a greater destiny than serving as a research assistant in this pathetic excuse for a laboratory. Look, just a minor alteration to the mutant Tukata's brain would allow me to reveal my master as a fraud. Bring me the brain before delivering it to Lord Renning, and I'll make it worth your while. I'm sure there's some way we could work this out. Perfect. Then we have an agreement. The mutant Takata escaped to the tomb of Mark of Ragnos. It's much larger than the others, so it's easy to spot. Return to me with the brain before you see Lord Renning, and I'll take care of the rest. Sergeant Garrus, turns out the rumors were true. Some of the sentries we lost down here aren't dead. They lost their minds, just like the Acolytes. Doesn't mean we're going to have any easier a time getting the research supplies back, though. The crates are secured with multi-locks. If we're going to open these things without frying the contents, we'll need to get all the sentries' code cylinders back. I don't think negotiation is an option. The men aren't keen to take down their old comrades, but we'll do what we can. Once we have the code cylinders, we'll crack open the supply crates and get back. Take one out.
Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Perhaps calm is necessary. Just open, damn it. Have you recovered the mutant to Carter Brain yet? I'm eager to conclude the business we discussed. It's right here. Have it. Excellent. This chemical will make it appear as though Renning is falsifying his research. There. All that remains is for me to whisper the right words in the wrong ears. I'm transferring credits to your account now. Give Renning the brain and collect his reward too. You've made out quite well. If I'm connected with this, you're the first to die. Save your tiresome threats. I'll take care of everything. We shouldn't be seen speaking again. Lord Renning might suspect us. Give him the brain. You have the brain at last. Excellent work. I trust it wasn't too much trouble. There was much bloodshed. Yes, I would imagine so. Just look at the size of that specimen. I must continue my research at once. Great discoveries await. Take a reward and go. You might want to consider bathing sometime. Yes, yes, you may stop talking now. Goodbye.